Okay, Salvacion and Willie Wilson who has been playing the big man here for Barangay Ginebra. Action is underway here in the opening quarter. Arcadi lost the ball. Here's Gutsil. Red Bull in Immaculate White. Ginebra in Fighting Red. Our Supreme Court for the night. Roy Guevara, Noel Kilingin. And Joey Kalungkagin is the Chief Justice for this afternoon. Here's Sharma against Mick. Sharma to Gutsil. Lazy pass. Almost stolen away. Here comes Ubalde. Ubalde fires and misses. Here's Salvacion on the move. And the ball hit the jersey of Salvacion for a turnover. So teams are really trying to uh, get warmed up here. A bit sloppy basketball we're seeing here in the first and uh, opening seconds. I did mention uh, Red Bull looking to restore really their confidence. And this guy has a confidence. Carlos Sharma thrust into the uh, starting big man position for Red Bull. He is averaging 10 points and about 6 rebounds this conference. Tight ball game now courtesy of that uh, inside basket from Eric Beck. Here's his speed up. Good seal. On the move. Bothered by Wilson. Two misses for Jojo Dunsil. Here comes Kid Lightning. And that ball was slapped away by Gabi Espinas. That's going to be very important for Dunsil to uh, get his game going. Because there are nights that Cyrus Baggio uh, is off offensively. And they would need another slasher to really contribute to their cause. And uh, that would uh, give them some one ball games in the future if Dunsil can really contribute. This is Espinas. 14 to shoot for Red Bull, we're still tied. They go to Sharma at the post and brushes Eric Mick aside. And Sharma now has all of Red Bull's points. You see how Carlos Sharma has developed here in the PBA. When you're watching him in, uh, in La Salle in college, you wouldn't think that he could post up against Eric Mink. But uh, Sharma really improving his game here. Which is why people never count out uh, Red Bull because you really never know who's going to uh, step up and uh, play a big game. Could be Sharma one night, could be somebody else on another night as Sharma gets the rebound. Uh, another missed layup there for uh, Paul Artadi. Red Bull up by two. Valde. Scores over Artadi. You know, never players have been falling down uh, on the defensive end, but the referees are uh, consistent at least in uh, reading it as flops. That's why uh, they're not getting the offensive fouls. Yes, Salvation. Last touch on. Last touch on Hinebra. Although it did appear that it was the Horda. He was the last person to touch that basketball, but uh, break here, good break for uh, Red Bull. You know, Nebra struggling here offensively in the first uh, couple of minutes. In that game against the Coca-Cola Tigers, they did also struggle of, uh, offensively. They only scored 25% in the first half from the field, but uh, they were lucky that uh, Coca-Cola did even worse. In the first quarter, Coca-Cola scored 9.5% from the field. That's why he never won that ball game. Uh, looks like Inebra will take a timeout here. Red Bull opening now a six-point lead, 8-2 to two in the early moments of this game. And jong Chico now wants to talk to his players to try and restore order in the early moments of this contest. The hottest plays, the freshest news, and the most interesting in-depth features. What's hot and what's not in and around the NBA. Catch it every Monday to Friday, 11.30 p.m. And on Saturdays at 12.30 p.m. Only on CS9. You stupid. Wilson is open. That's what you like as a coach. You come off a timeout. 
and you get to score after that timeout. It's obviously the instruction of Coach John with Chico was to have better ball movement, get that extra pass. You can see here Ronald Tubit getting the attention of two defenders and good job there by Willie Wilson of separating himself from Ronald Tubit going to the open spot. That's why he was able to score. Willie Wilson completes a three-point play. Let's so look at the early field goal shooting for both teams. Red Bull shooting 50% so far. Sharma connects. I told you he has a lot of confidence. He already has six points in the ballgame. He's been taking majority of the shots on the offensive end of Red Bull. Tumas is now from Rainbow Country from Sunday Salvason. Five-point game in the opening quarter in favor of Red Bull. Espina Sunport. And that's going to be an automatic violation. You, you can see here for Red Bull, there, there's, there's a sense of urgency on their part. As we mentioned earlier on, they're at the bottom of the team standings, standings at 3-9. and nine. The win here will uh, get them closer to the, to the Tigers. Chris Tubit on the right side. Tubit against Dunsil. Tubit. Nice hesitation move and he scores. Down to a three-point ball game. Now he feels he can take Giorgio Dunsil one and one. And uh, he just showed it in that play. Now Rivaldi, nowhere to go. Sends it to Sharma. Backdoor pass, Dunsil blocked. And this will leave Red Bull with five seconds to shoot as they hold on to a three-point lead. Junti Valenzuela. Of course, a former player of Red Bull checking in the ball game. Replacing uh, Ronald Tubid. Time to shoot here for Red Bull. Three on the shot clock. Espinas fires. Straight but short. Here comes Jute Venezuela. Hitman entering the game for the first time. Here's Meg. Hammered by Sharma. Quick first step there for... Uh, Eric Meng caught Sharma by surprise. That's why he had uh, no other recourse but to hack him and let him earn his uh, points from the stripe. The more and more, Inebra going to Eric Meng for uh, offensive production. That's right. No Kagiwa and now no JJ Helterbrand. You know, and at the same time, if you can get uh, Sharma into foul trouble early, as we mentioned, uh, Red Bull do not have a lot of uh, big men who can post up. Well, you have Larry Rodriguez who can post up, but he's not exactly a center. Here's the Horta. And Artadi picks up the Eric pass, and Salvacion completes the pass break. And you can see what a difference a timeout can do for your team. And after that timeout, Inebra coming, on, coming in with a lot more energy here in the first quarter. And Inebra has tied the game at 10. A miss by Sharma. And that zone defense really giving Red Bull a lot of problems offensively. We're approaching the halfway mark of uh, the opening quarter. Here comes Valenzuela. That's yeah, just experience on the part of Junti. I feel he's a lot stronger than uh, Giorgio Dunsil. I'm sure Dunsil has a lot of respect for uh, Junti Valenzuela. You can see only 12 minutes per game. Of course, he's not 100% his left knee heavily bandaged and sometimes you don't really rely on your, your talent when you're a veteran no? I know you know what you're talking yes, about yes of course <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I have brains uh, but you also have off nights uh, yeah, a couple <laughs> just a couple <laughs> Wait, scoreless night the last two minutes the red ball let's see here wow. You see Paolo Hobalde, they've been struggling from the perimeter. That's the way to attack the zone defense. Take it strong to the basket and attack the gaps. Here's Salvasur for three. 
Still no dice for Sunday. And here's Artani back to Salvacion. Inside Valenzuela gets Dunsil. Back outside Salvacion. Back inside Junti. Turn around. Yes, sir. 